Welcome back. This is now the final question from the paper two, um, pure mathematics P2 paper from the International A Level at Excel, June, October 2020 session. And this question here is about logarithms. It says find the exact value of x for which log to the base 3 of x plus 5 minus 4 equals log to the base 3 of 2x minus 1. Now there's different methods you can use in dealing with logarithms. What I like to do, you know, I have a question like this, I check that the bases are the same, which they are, log to the base 3, log to the base 3. I'll bring the log terms on one side and the constant terms on the other side. So what I'll do is I'll say log to the base 3 of x plus 5. I'll take away this from both sides, leaving me with minus log to the base 3 of 2x minus 1 equals 4. And then I can use the law of logarithms, um, the division law, where I have, when you have basically log a minus log b can be expressed as log of a divided by b. Okay, this is called the, the, the um, subtraction or division law, you could call it. And you basically, if they're both to the same base, okay, let's just say they're both to the same base, you can then combine them together to the same base that they were as a division. So I can take this and write this as log to the base 3 of, and I have x plus 5 divided by 2x minus 1 equals 4. And then I can use the fact of what logarithms mean. So I, I know that the log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten as the base is a, the power is c, and the result is b. So a to the power of c equals b. That's how you can rewrite these uh, interchangeably. You can change it from log form to index form, from index form to log form. I want to change this into index form. So 3 is my power, uh, sorry, 3 is my base, and 4 is my power, and x plus 5 over 2x minus 1 is my result. So I can just, um, you know, just solve this, rearrange it and solve it. So I have 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. So I have 81 is equal to um, x plus 5 over 2x minus 1. So I can multiply both sides by 81. So I have um, 162x minus 81 equals x plus 5. Uh, I can add, take away one from both sides, uh, take away x from both sides, so I have 161x, and add 81 to both sides, that's going to give me 5 plus 81, which is 86, so x is equal to 86 of 161, um, does that simplify? I have 86 over 161. Well, it stays as, that, as it is. So you give the exact value, exact value. So you have 86 over 161. That's, that's as far as it goes. It doesn't simplify any further. And there's the answer for 9 part 1. Okay, so now for part 2. Part 2, part 2a. Two, it says, given that 3 to the power of y plus 3 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 equals 108. Show that 0.75y equals 2. Okay, so I'm sure we have to use the laws of indices here. Now, first of all, 0.75, I'm going to rewrite that as 3 over 4 to the power of y equals 2. So I think I'm going to have to be ending up with a 3 to the power of something on top, a 4 to the power of something underneath. I can see that kind of happening here. So let's, first of all, Let's split this up. I know that a to the power of m plus n is equal to the a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I can split this up into 3 to the power of y times 3 to the power of 3. I've got this, and I also know that a to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 1 over... 2 to the power of 2y. And I know that that's equal to 108. Okay, so let's see how that works. That's going to give me 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. So I have 27 times 3 to the power of y. And then I'm going to have times 2. So that's actually going to be 54. Let me just write that as 54 on top, because I have 3 to the power of 3 times 2. That's 27 times 2, which is 54 over 3 to the power of y equals. And this is like 
2 to the power of 2 um, 2 to the power of 2 is like this is the same as saying 4 to the power of y because 2 squared 2 to the power of 2y is the same as saying 2 to the power of 2 to the power of y because when you multiply it's like a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of m times n the m times n so we can see here that this is the same as saying 2 to the power of 2 to the power of y because I want to end up with a 4 that's why I wrote it like this I could have also said 2 to the power of y squared is also equal to that but I want this form because I want to end up with a 4 so I can write this as now 4 to the power of y and that's equal to 108 and now I can see that I've got 3 to the power of y over 4 to the power of y equals 108 over 54 and that is equal to 2 okay so I'm almost there just make some space here so I can say this is the same as saying 3 over 4 to the power of y is equal to 2 because we know that a to the power of m over a to the power of n is the same as a over b to the power of n sorry is the same as a over b to the power of sorry both of them to the same power is equal to the same power so a over to the power of m over b to the power of m is the same as a over b to the power of m you can write them as separate powers or you can write it as one fraction to one power okay so that's exactly what i had to prove just write it in the form they want so therefore we can say 0 0.75 which is three quarters to the power of y equals two okay so that's that done so just use the laws of, of indices to to split this up and then you see it works out to be exactly what they want us to show then it says hence find the value of y giving your answers to three decimal places so we have basically uh, 0 0.75 to the power of y equals 2. To find the value of y, we can solve this using logarithms. Let's take the log to the base of 0 0.75 of both sides. So y equals log to the base of 0 0.75 of 2. And that will be my answer. Simple as that. Okay, so you have log to the base of 0 0.75 of 2. And that gives me my answer, which is minus 2.4094. Three decimal places, minus 2.409. And there we have the answer. Yep, three decimal places. Okay, so the reason why we took log to the base of 0 0.75 is because we want to get rid of this uh, this power here we want to make this become y so basically what we did was this it's log to the base of 0 0.75 of 0 0.75 to the power of y equals log to the base 0 0.75 of 2 and then we can say y times the log to the base of something of itself that becomes 1 log to the base of something of itself is 1 and I'm left with this answer minus 2.2 four zero nine four and so on okay so this becomes one so you're left with y equals your answer that's the reason why we took log to the base of 0 0.75 in the past um, they didn't have that button in the calculator to take log to other bases you could only take the log to the base of 10 and log to the base e which you're going to find out about in a level maths a2 maths in p3 um, but basically um, you know you could if you wanted to take log to the base 10 of both sides okay if you did that you would have you would end up with y times log to the base 10 of 0 0.75 equals log to the base 10 of 2. And then you'd say y equals log to the base 10 of 2 divided by log to the base 10 of 0 0.75. And that would give you exactly the same answer. Okay, so if when you have log, you don't have to write anything else with it. So I don't have to put the base. This is, this is log the base uh, log of 2 sorry divided by and log of 0 0.75 when you have log it means log to the base 10 that's that's what that means without the 10 there and that gives you exactly the same answer you see minus 0 0.2409 okay so it gives you the same answer you can use whatever method you use with this you wish with this new button on the calculator um, it makes life a lot easier you can just put whatever base you want so it's just one step you can get the answer quite easily so there is the answer to question number nine part 
uh, B, and I think that is the end of the question, the end of the paper, yes. So there we have it, we've completed this paper. Um, this is the June, stroke October 2020 paper. You can find the playlist for this paper in the description of, sorry, you can find the playlist for this paper for all the other questions in the description of this video underneath. And if you, if you go to the playlist in the description of the playlist, you can find both the question paper in PDF format and its mark scheme. Um, you'll find a link to those. And um, you'll also find links to other papers that are other, you know, syllabuses, P2, P3, P4, M1, S1, and whatever I've done from those. Um, so I hope uh, that you found this useful and I wish you well for your exams. Thank you for watching and see you soon.